All right, welcome to episode two of William's Corner. Today we're going to be talking about the Leafs' free agency moves so far. They could make some more moves. I doubt it, though. The team looks pretty firm unless someone else gets a big trade. In that case, I'll probably do another video. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone for their uh, support on the last couple hockey videos. We got up over 100 views on a couple of them. Super awesome. This channel has been around for like six, five or six days now, and it's been awesome. 85% of you aren't subscribed, though. So, fucking subscribe. Like, I do videos every single day. This nutsack is in videos at least once a week. Yeah. Probably going to be more, given that the Leafs keep sucking and making more moves. So just subscribe. And engage with me in the comments. Engage with me. That way I'm happy to have banter with you. I know I've engaged with a few of you. Alright, let's get into this. Also, I do football and basketball videos so far. There's a couple of those on the channel. They did pretty shit, so I want to promote those and get those good. Alright. First up, we had Wayne Simmons. Uh, I thought he was a good signing. You know, big grit, tough guy, good third liner, maybe a fourth liner, depending on um, the system, maybe even a second liner if Mickey doesn't come back. So, you know, what do you think of Wayne Simmons? You know, he's a good player. Yeah, I don't think it's as good a signing as uh, my boy Bobby Ryan that got signed by the Detroit Red Wings. But for the Leafs, I think Wayne Simmons is a very good signing. Uh, he brings grit to like a third or fourth line most likely while also bringing production that I think Kyle Cliff did not bring last year that you actually really need in the playoffs that would have made I think Sean Keith play the fourth line a lot more if they were able to produce a lot more offensively also you know Bobby Ryan sucks right no Bobby Ryan is an absolute beauty okay. this what guy, are you talking about this guy's just gonna mention Red Wings for the rest of this video yeah okay. yeah we, we had the best free agency other than the Toronto Leafs no cap yeah, because you guys don't have a cap. Anyway, that um, is fair. Anyway, TJ Brody was our next signing. Four years, five million AAV. It's pretty reasonable contract given that Dubis is the one negotiating. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't just hand him over the entire yacht or say, "Here, you want shares in MLSE? I'll give you thirty percent." Anyway, uh, TJ Brody. He shoots left but plays right. Um, probably going to be a partner for Morgan Riley. I think one big trend of this is that we got bigger, tougher. Also, TJ Brody put, like did a skills competition for the Leafs as like a kid, and I thought I found that really cute. You know, like that's what I wanted to do. TJ, I'm a left shot defenseman, or I was when I actually was good at hockey. You're a left shot defenseman. Like, come on, man. You're in the NHL and I'm not. I'm blaming you for that. Come on, man. Let me sign that contract. Anyway, TJ Brody, good signing. Riley, what's up? Uh so. Not better than Troy Stetcher, as per what the Red Wings signed from the Vancouver Canucks. Will Canucks. you shut up about the Red Wings? <laughs> no, I'm not shut up about the Red Wings because we actually had a good free agency. I liked our free agency. But TJ Brody, I really like TJ Brody signing. He got signed to a very good team-friendly contract. Five million for TJ Brody is very good. He is probably going to be a first-pairing right defenseman. So to get him at a very low cost of five million AAV on the cap is very good for the Leafs. And it's just ensuring that you have a good right-hand defenseman. Like, you don't have Ron Hainsey or Cody Ceci. You actually have a defenseman that is, I would say, at least, at the least, a second-line NHL defenseman. Yeah, but Cody Ceci's analytics were good. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> what analytics is Kyle Dubas looking at? The analytics are fucking wrong. Okay. It's like Travis Boyd's analytics. Okay, yeah, we're going to talk about Travis Boyd now. Who fucking gives a shit? It's Travis Boyd. I... Honestly, let me know in the comments if you had heard about Travis Boyd before the Leafs signed him, okay? I don't think there's a single motherfucker on this planet. You knew Travis Boyd? Yeah. Okay, well, he's a nerd, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, Travis Boyd didn't exist. He's fucking shit at hockey. He doesn't deserve to be on this prestigious franchise. He's literally going to sit in the AHL and soak up money from us. He's going to be like the eight fucking guys we signed last year. So... Who gives a fuck? I just spent way too much time on Travis Boyd. Let's talk. Do you have anything to say about Travis Boyd? Uh, I really don't understand the Travis Boyd signing. He's not that great of a player. Like you said in your video, he only played one playoff game for the Caps. Like, he gets playoff experience. But, like, he's not... Buddy, I got more playoff yeah. experience but than Travis Boyd. Yeah, but he's not that good of a forward. If anything, he's going to play on your fourth line. I think using the money that... Travis Boyd got you could have re-signed Mikheyev with that money and right now Mikheyev is not if they don't sign if they don't re-sign Mikheyev I'm gonna lose my mind yeah because why are you signing Travis Boyd when you have a chance to sign Ilya Mikheyev Mikheyev's like our best player anyway yeah. uh we traded Andreas Janssen for a guy who's barely played in the NHL 
Joey Anderson has, like, okay, since I made my video, I know I called Joey Anderson a scrub, and I know I said uh, Janssen sucks. Janssen doesn't suck. He's a good hockey player. But he sucked last year, and he was always injured. Fact. Joey Anderson is unproven in the NHL. He's young. He's 22 or something. But he's been shit so far. I know the Devils do not know how to develop, but he's been shit so far. Uh, yeah, Dubas. You take this L. Like, seriously. Fucking figure it out. Anything? No? It's, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a, I don't understand the trade. For me, it's just a cap dump. I think it was just, you needed more cap space to get players. And clearly after the trade, they get more players. But I just, you couldn't have got something else than the guy that's not even proven for Andreas Johnson. Like, for Kasperi Kapanen, who I don't even think is a better, I think Andreas Johnson is a better player than Kasperi Kapanen. You got a first round pick. What did you do with the first pick? Jack shit, but... Like, you got a first-round pick. Hey, we don't know. Kapanen. He's a Russian, Maybe, dude. maybe. But looking right now, it's not... You, you made the wrong pick, but still. You got a first-round pick for Kapanen, and you got an AHL guy for at least a, right now and probably not going to make the NHL on the Toronto Leafs. It just makes no sense. Yeah, well... I think know. it's just cap. That My opinion is just a cap dump to get the two players afterwards. Is this, like, the same thing as trading Porzingis for cap? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess we're the New York Knicks now. Anyway, uh, then we decided to sign Zach Bogosian, my best video. Thank you, guys. Fucking brilliant. Uh, never expected that. Kick ass. Anyway, Zach Bozo Bogosian is going to kick ass. Let's be honest. He's going to play like I played in House League, which is head down and hit people because you're shit at hockey. He might be. He's probably a, he's a decent hockey player. Let me give him some credit. Give him some credit. But he's going to kick the shit out of people, and that's what we need. I feel like the Leafs had an era in the 90s and early 2000s where they're like, grit, 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 grit. And then they're like, that era sucked. Let's go skill, 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 skill. And now they're realizing they need more grit. Zach Bogosian brings that. He's a kick-ass hockey player. He's going to punch you in the mouth. Don Cherry fucking is going to scream about how amazing this, this signing is. Zach Bogosian, welcome to the Leafs. What do you think? So... Zach Bogosian, not as good as John Merrill. I'll say it. Zach Bogosian is not as good as John Merrill at the Red Wings sign. But Zach Bogosian, in my opinion, is what like is what you really want. He's got playoff experience. He won this year with the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Stanley Cup Finals. He's a gritty player. He's another like Jake Muzzin. Not as good as Jake Muzzin, but he's another big body that's going to lay hits for you in the playoffs. That's really going to help you like grind down those boards in the playoffs. Like you saw, once Jake Muzzin got out in the playoffs this year... The Leafs were not as gritty. And what happened? Columbus won that series. Well, remember, Pierre-Luc Dubois is a goddamn cheater. But yeah, whatever. We won't, we, Pierre Dubois is absolutely one of the dirtiest players in the NHL. He's the sneakiest, dirtiest player in the NHL. I'm not going to lie. He tried to injure a person in the next series, too. So I'm not going to lie. He is pretty dirty. But he is what you need. He's going to be a third-pairing D that you need. That's just going to grind out those like third and fourth line guys. Maybe you can put him against the first line. Just absolutely kill like some first line guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pierre Luc Dubois, those Frenchmen, can't fucking trust them. They're all fucking <laughs> sneaky ass bitches. You know it. All those French Canadian guys, you know, they're sneaky, man. They're sneaky. Like, they're good hockey players. They're great. Like, Sidney Crosby, he, like, broke oh, a guy's finger Sydney off. Crosby. He broke a guy's finger off. Listen, like, I love Sidney Crosby. Top three player all time. But, but that's absolutely why. But, this guy's a Howl fan. Come on, man. Anyway, um, they're all sneaky, man. And, uh, like, I want them on my team, but I don't want to play like against Brad them. Like Brad Marchand, you want them on your team. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then finally, we got uh, Hobie Baker Award. NCAA legend. Played with Alex Kerfoot at Harvard. Jimmy VC, Mr. Hockey. Um, Jimmy VC, like, I don't know what the point of the signing is. He's big. He's probably going to battle it out in the corners. But, you know, he went to the Rangers in a terrible time. The Sabres are a goddamn shit show. I don't know what the rain, uh, the bu Buffalo Sabres are doing. They're going to, like, Taylor Hall was ruined by the Oilers playing a shit team. Then he went to the Devils, showed up for about a year, then was shit, shit on Arizona. And now he's going to a team that literally ruins players. They ruin players. The Buffalo they ruined Jeff Skinner. The Buffalo Sabres ruin players. And we just, we're here to save Jimmy VC. The hype train is still going. If Jimmy VC is an elite player this year, elite player, then this will look like Kyle Dubas is a legend. If Jimmy VC scores more than 20 goals this year, Kyle Dubas, goddamn, take your hat off, man. He's 
Kyle Dubas, man. I'm, you know what? I, I don't have much to say about Jimmy VC. I feel like it's just a flyer on another deaf guy. What do you think about Jimmy VC? Not as good as Vladis left in the Oh, for Red Wings, fuck's sakes. I think VC for me, I just don't understand. I don't, VC is nowhere near as good as Mikhail. So I actually looked this up before I can get, I, it was like, he, I think he played 64 games last year, had like eight points. McKayev in 39 games had 25 points. Well, we all 25 know. points! Listen. I don't care if Buffalo stinks. McKayev had so many more points. Like, someone's got to score on Buffalo. So I don't care if Jack Michael scores, but someone else had to score on that team. Someone. Well, and Jimmy VC did jack shit. Well, Jeff Skinner jack did shit, shit either. But. Yeah, well, they, they, like you said, they go to fucking room I feel players. Like, I feel like we're the Buffalo Sabres reject pile because we got Wayne Simmons and Jimmy VC this year. Anyway, um... No, Mikheyev is a goddamn legend. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar. He needs to play with Tavares and Nylander. I think that, or depending on if Nylander is playing with Matthews or Marner is playing with Tavares. But, you know, Mikheyev's a legend. If we let Mikheyev go because of Jimmy fucking VC, I swear to or God. Or like Tra- or Travis Boyd. You guys will be in for a treat because I will be blowing a gasket. And I'll be laughing. <laughs> I remember last year when we signed him, I watched his tape for about... Like, three days straight just watching Mikheyev tape. And I was impressed as hell. And, you know, me being a shit hockey player, I know when someone's better than me. And Mikheyev is literally, like, probably looked like one of the best players I've ever seen come out of the KHL. And... That's... Wow. That's... that's No, in terms of recently. Like, obviously not Panarin. But I'm saying Mikheyev looked at, like, one of the better players to come out of the KHL. He's good skater, bigger dude, good puck handler knows where to be knows where to be he's got great speed he plays with this one of the smartest players in hockey and john Tavares. john Tavares is an athlete he's a smart player and i'm sorry jimmy vc if you yeah. replace mikhaev on this team yeah. or if you replace nick robertson if nick robertson isn't on this team because of jimmy vc or mikhaev's not on this team oh my god this team is literally crazy yeah but how is Igor or Shigano for you no oh, for um what, okay what how how would you grade dubas out of 10 for this free agency thus far um i think it's like a seven or an eight i think v the vc and boyd signings if they you don't sign back with kf look really bad yeah um the simmons signing is really good the brody signing is really good the bergosian signing is really good i don't like the trade but i get what he wanted to do with the trade he wanted to free up cap space to sign Bogosian and sign someone else it was necessary but I wish you yeah. could have gotten a draft I wish you could have gotten more I think if you're at least you wish you could have gotten more but I would say it's a 7 or 8 out of 10 as of right now it could go up depending on whether if they not resign McKay now I'm going to be a little harsher than him and say 6 I think we got what we needed the guys that I'm really excited are for our Wayne Simmons TJ Brody and Zach Bogosian everyone else I could give a toss about uh travis boyd i already said who gives a fuck honestly he's probably never gonna play for this team um jimmy vc might never play will probably be a fourth liner if anything maybe he'll learn from the goat jason spezza um and joey anderson probably not gonna make this team and we need to re-sign him so um yeah we have no money (laughs) i expect one dermot to be gone i expect maybe kerfoot to be gone I Maybe hope... Engvall. Engvall if you're trying to get Simon K out. Yeah. See, I feel like the biggest like question mark on this team right now is Miko Lettinen. And if he can be that third pair left D, or if he's going to play on the right side, if Bogosian is shit, or if what's going to happen well, there. Well, you know Bogosian isn't shit. Well, okay, whatever. But Did you watch the playoffs? Well, Barry was good on Colorado, and he was shit for Well, that, that is kind of fair. And uh, now he's going to Edmonton. <laughs> Yeah, Edmonton. I always have fun with Tyson Berry. I swear you. No, gonna... he works in the right in the right. You're going to be yelling at your right TVs market. a lot. You're going to be no, yelling at Tyson your Berry is good in the right market. Colorado was the right. A Colorado team is the right market. Anyway, Toronto was not. Tie it back. Tie it back. Okay. Uh, Dubis, six out of ten, man. I was super pumped at the first day with Simmons and Brody. Uh, confused the second day. I feel like even though you guys tuned in a lot to that um, second day, I was very confused. I love the Bogosian signing. And then last night with Jimmy VC, I was looking at my phone and I was like, well, goddamn. <laughs> like, this, that is a guy that you want, like, you get in NHL and you want to make good because of the hype. Yeah. He's like, Hobie he's, Award winning guy goes to New York. Like, everybody wants him. Like, this guy, this guy was, like, highly wanted. Like, Toronto wanted him in 2016. He goes to play with New York, who 
I think was starting to go on their downturn. But he still looked awful. He goes to the place where players go to die in Buffalo, and he looks awful. Yeah. So I, he's an unknown. What is he? Okay. That's what I'm saying. What is he? Yeah. We don't. We still don't know what he is. We'll see. I, I think the Leafs have a great development staff. I feel like we could get the best out of Jimmy BC. I feel like the Leafs either get the best or the worst out of some guys. We got the worst out of Tyson Berry last year, and we got the best out of Alexander Kerfoot. So, uh, yeah. We got the best out of Mikheyev. We got the best out of Mikheyev, man. That guy is a beast. And Dermot sucks. But... <laughs> Dermot, Dermot, what was that pinching game three, Dermot? I'm still going back to but, pinching um, game three. Dermot stinks. But, yeah, Dubas. I would have Travis Dermot, but Dermot stinks. Per, well, you're the Red Wings. You would yeah. take you would I would take anybody. I'm happy with, like, Thomas Grice as a goalie. I know Thomas Grice stinks. But he at least can save the puck. You would take the garbage bins the Astros banged on, honestly. Well, so I would take the garbage. That team could probably make more saves than Jimmy Howard last season. Just stick one of them garbage bins in goal, and you'd probably make more saves than Jimmy Howard. Yeah, well, at least the Rays are up 2 nothing, so those fucking cheaters from the Houston Astros aren't winning. All right, well, that's been another Williams corner with the sad Red Wings fan. Now, happier Red Wings fan. Uh, after school boys, a couple of... That's a, that's a 9 out of 10 Steve Eisman free agency. Actually, yeah, let's ask this question, okay, before we sign off. Steve Eiserman or Kyle Dubas? Steve Eiserman. Okay. He built Tampa. He built Tampa. Yes, but as a player, Kyle Dubas is way better. That's a player? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Guy had like 1,900, like 1,400 points or something like that. No, sorry. Sheldon Keith or Steve Eiserman as a player? Steve Eiserman. <laughs> hey, you know, he played under, uh, what's his face, Call, uh, for Columbus. Sheldon Keith played under uh, Tor- Tordy, Torch. Tordy, Tordy, yeah, Tordy. So, you know, he knows how to play. Anyway, that's been Williams Corner. Leafs free agency review. Dubas did a decent job. Uh, Iserman did a shit job. What are you talking about? That. Sign off. We'll see you next week. That's bullshit. Or if we have to review something Horse else. shit. Keep your eye out for any, uh, Horse any shit. of my uh, reactions, instant reactions. Uh, probably going to have to do the Broncos game, see what the Celtics do, see if the Blue Jays do anything. Man City versus Arsenal coming up. He's going to be in that one. Sad Arsenal fan. And, uh, yeah. If any We're better other... than Man City this year, so. And, uh, so. yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm not going to ask for likes or anything. I feel like that's kind of a cop-out. But if you guys like what I do, I post pretty much, like, I post, like, three day videos a day for the last couple days. So, yeah. Uh, please stick around. This guy's a riot. See you around.